Hey everyone, so I'm going to show you a way that you can track your people um, using Google Spreadsheets. So if you are not wanting to jump in and use Streak yet or it's overwhelming for you, this is a good alternative. This is actually what I used before I went and moved on to Streak. And what's really nice about it is if you decide to use Streak later, this acts as an Excel sheet basically or Excel document and you can export certain things um, and then you can put those into your streak. You can actually upload them into streak as a CSV file, which is really awesome. Um, so this is what I used back before I started. And of course, I've edited it before, you know, over um, time. But this is what we call our success tracker. You'll notice we've got um, daily activities up here. So Shakeology and Workout. We've got personal development. And I've got these linked to drives for my team. Um, so if you go to this, you're going to see you're going to see some um, information on, I don't know why that's popping up. Um, you're going to see some information on personal development and how to get to those um, different things. And then posting on social media three to five times a day. And you'll notice I also start on Thursday just because our weeks start on Thursday and end Wednesday at midnight. Um, and then for the power hour, you'll see um, business tasks, connect and build relationships, expanding your market, inviting and follow-ups. So I kind of break it down that way so that it's easier for new coaches to, to digest and it helps me to have them categorized um, instead of just having a big sheet of stuff to do. So check your coach online office and alerts. I'm just going to go through these and show you how to do some of them. You're just going to go to your coach online office. Um, right now I'm just signed into teambeachbody.com but I want to go to coach online office. And then here's coach breaking news. So you always want to check this out. You, this is where you're going to find your success club points. If they're there, you expand this. It's going to tell you how you got them. If some got subtracted for some reason, um, your upline information here. And then down here, you're going to have some alerts. So it sh says that I have one new personally sponsored coach. So I want to make sure I check that out. Um, if you see this where it says you have 14 new coaches in your organization. These are not your personally sponsored coaches. These are coaches that have been added to our team. So um, you don't have to worry about contacting those people. They do help you um, grow your business volume wise, but you do not need to, you're not responsible for these coaches. Um, so you'll look through here and if there's anything you need to check out, and then also I would go to my business and my orders and customer orders just to make sure or see if anybody has ordered or, um, signed up for free or anything like that. And then um, the next thing is checking on your challenge group. So you want to go check in your challenge groups, check in your coach page, your training pages, um, connecting and building relationships, reply and liking comments. So that's if you have posted um, something on social media, you want to make sure you go back through and reply and like and respond to everybody because what's going to happen is um, Facebook is going to show more of that post once you do that, but also it's going to make sure that you're showing up in that person's news feed more often as well. So make sure you go back and like and comment message likers and commenters. So if it, and this isn't something that you need to do every single day, but this is something that helps you um, build some relationships. If you post, um, you know, a vulnerable post, or even if it's just a simple post and you notice somebody, um, like it or comment on it, don't be afraid to reach out to them and say, Hey, thank you for liking my recipe post. Um, you know, it really helps me know that people actually like these, so I'll go ahead and continue to do those. And then um, if, if you do a vulnerable post with a before and after, especially then you want to contact those people and say, thank you so much for supporting my new journey. It's so much appreciated. Um, and how are you? Just to open up conversations. So it's all about building relationships. And then connecting to three people. So this is different than um, liking and commenting and sending messages. This video is going to link you to a video by um, Chelsea Pearson and it talks about how you can connect to people differently than just, hey, how are you? Basically, once you get to know people, you know um, things that they're interested in. So for example, um, people know that I'm a dental hygienist and Jason loves giraffes. So they tend to send us or tag us in a lot of giraffe stuff, baby stuff, or dental hygiene or dental stuff. So I think about that with my um, followers and I try to find three people who I could connect to where I could send them something funny 
that has to do with um, whatever their hobbies are or anything like that and just connect with them. Or if you see something where you're like, wow, that reminds me of so-and-so, you'll want to kind of connect with them and tag them in that post or send, it, send your thoughts to them. And then comment on three posts. This is different than all of these. Commenting on three posts means you're gonna go to your news feed and you are going to comment on three of your friends posts, whether it's your baby so cute, like whatever they post, find a way to connect to them and comment on their posts. Um, again, what this is gonna do is help you build relationships. And everything that you do here is going to help you be able to invite later. So that whenever you do post a call out, these people are gonna see those call outs because you've actually been interacting with them on Facebook because Facebook wants you to be interacting and not just spamming people. Um, they're going to act on those call out posts because they trust you and they built a little bit of a relationship with you. Um, expand your market, interact in, 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 in interest groups. So whatever you're interested in, find groups to be a part of. So say you are into, um, say you have a certain breed of dog or um, you've adopted a dog. There are groups for that. Um, me being a mom, there are tons of groups for moms. So I make sure that I go into my interest groups and interact. Me being a dental hygienist, and a lot of us on our team, we are in dental hygiene groups. So I make sure that I go in there and I comment on people's posts. And what ends up happening is those people who you comment on are people you would never have met before if you hadn't been a part of that group. And what ends up happening is they scroll over your name, they see your awesome cover photo and your, your smiling face, um, and they want to be your friend or they want to talk to you. And it's all about just, you, you don't wanna go into these interest groups and spam them or invite people to your groups from, the, from this. You want to be very genuine and just basically interact um, like a normal human being. That's what we want you to do. Um, and then adding three friends to Facebook. People get so caught up on this, um, you know, adding three friends. The reason you need to be, I'm gonna go to my Facebook, the reason you need to be adding more friends to Facebook is um, what ends up happening is you will run out of your people over time. So you wanna make sure that you are um, always adding people into your funnel, quote unquote. So even if you just click on friends here, I can go to see all, and you can do this from your phone as well. So right now I have 120 friend requests um, just because I'm kind of maxed out right now um, on my friend requests, but I can actually search for new friends. Um, I can search with people who have, Jason has mutual friends with, people who worked at my old company, um, people who went to my school. Um, I actually have a YouTube video who, and there we go. I actually have a YouTube video um, of how to add friends to Facebook. So I, I highly recommend that you go and check that out. So these are people who went to the IU School of Dentistry that I could interact with. And more than likely, like, so this person's an independent distribu distributor at AdvoCare. Doesn't mean that she doesn't want to possibly look into being a beach body coach. Um, and I actually know her, she is, she works with my mom. Um, so here's another person and she has mutual friends with some coaches on our team. So you just have to um, go through and there's different things that you can do. And I'm not gonna go over all this cause I have a YouTube video that covers all of this, but even Facebook gives you people that you might want to be friends with. So you can go through that as well. You just wanna make sure that you're adding three friends um, to Facebook and whenever I add them, what ends up happening is um, let me just add this person. So I scroll over this, add to another list, and I'll create like you'll see added in April. Um, I'll create added in September. Fiona might be barking. So then I can remember that I added these people and they go to a list. If you don't know about all this, again, watch my adding friends um, video tutorial and you can um, do that. And sometimes the way that I explain it in that video doesn't always work, but it works most of the time for me. Okay. And then the next thing is um, follow up. Oh, wait, invite. So inviting and following up. So invite three to challenge group, three to a challenge group or to coaching. So I don't invite three every single day. What I usually do is like spend one day in bulk invite people. So I might have zero, 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 and then 15 here. And so that's the way that I do it. As long as the total averages out over three people a day, that's what matters. Um, and on ours, you'll see, um, and 
for my team that's watching this, there will be a link on how to invite to challenge groups and call outs and all of that. But reach out to your sponsor and make sure that you're connecting with them. Fiona, chill out. <laughs> and then following up with three people, so that's pretty self-explanatory. I also have a link down here on how to follow up with scripts. Fiona, chill out. And then check notifications and messages. So you'll notice this is at the very end. And the reason why it's at the very end is because you want to get all of this power hour done before you jump into notifications and messages because you will get lost in your inbox and notifications if you do these things first and you will end up spending your entire power hour doing messages and checking notifications. Now the only time that this is an exception is if you have posted a call out and you know that you're interacting with some people and you're waiting to hear back from them then make sure that you go to your messages and reply back to them first thing in the morning when you wake up um, or whenever you start your power hour. Those, and, and the way that I do it is I actually rank my messages. So hold on, let me get see. <laughs> so I rank my messages and um, the way that I rank them, and I don't actually go through and rank them, but in my head, when I open my, my inbox, if I see messages from coaches, unless there's a big red flag, like the beginning of the, the message says, um, oh my gosh, I need help right now or something like that, I'm not going to open those first. What I'm going to look for are people who I've been waiting to hear back from. So those are the first messages I'm going to go to, and then I'm going to dive into the other uh, messages, if that makes sense. So that's the way you do that. And, the, <clears throat> and then down here, you'll see Success Club. So you'll see Success Club 5 is helping three people put a goal in, put a goal date, um, and then Success Club 10, and then you'll see links to um, other things here. And then Team Building. You want to set a goal for how many coaches you want to add for the month, and then um, Rank Advancement, what's your goal? And then down here you'll have, um, on our team, we actually have this linked to how to get your coach started right, and then ranks explained um, there. And then down here you're gonna see important links and websites. For, so for our team, these all are linked. And then for other teams, um, what you can do is add in your team's information down here. And then you'll see all these tabs down here. So these are what's really awesome. Um, and so I have a contact list, a challenger prospect list, coach prospects, um, new friends. So if I add new friends, what I'll do is I'll go in here and I'll put their name. I'll link their Facebook profile, the date that I added them, any notes about them or why I added them. And then eventually if I started a combo. And then you'll see here where I say, rank them from one to five if you think they would relate to you. Um, you want to always have a five. Like you want to be adding people who you feel like are really gonna relate to you. So um, later whenever you're, and, and I just do this for personal reasons, um, you don't need to do that if you don't want to. But contact list, how it's different than these, is these are just people I'm building a relationship with. These are like, so if I add someone to Facebook, and then I start a conversation with them, I will move them to the contact list. And now I'm kind of in a conversation with them. And then if we start discussing challenge groups, then I'm gonna move them into here. And then if they start talking about coaching prospects, I'll move them into here. Um, and you'll see where on challenger prospects, I have their notes, their goals, um, if they have a free account already, what they're interested in, when I contacted them, um, follow-ups, and if they're interested in coaching or if I think that they would be a coach prospect. And then on the coach prospect list, you'll see their information, ideal coach, one to five, one being the lowest, readiness, how ready they are to sign up, one to five, um, what their why is for signing up, and then if I added them to a sneak peek or sent them a link, I will just put an X in there or the date, and then sent link to sign up or follow up date. And then what you can end up doing is you can rank all of these. So like once you have a list of people, you'll highlight this and then you can go up and um, I believe it's this one, create new filter. And then you're able to sort it, sort it based off of people who you sent the link to and things like that. And then challenge group follow ups and a word on adding friends. Um, what I will do is once they've added me back, I will put a strike through their name just saying that they added me. And then if they don't add me over the course of a week, every Tuesday, um, I go in and I delete friend requests because you don't want to have a bunch of fr uh, pending friend requests um, hanging out on your Facebook because that looks bad to Facebook. 
So child group follow-up, so this would just be people who, um, you'll see right here, keep track of your no's and not right now's. Um, this is where they will go. So if people have, um, have not committed, I'll put them on this list so that I know to, to follow up with them. You'll see coach follow-ups. So these are people who said no's and not right now's. So I don't move them to this list until they've said no or not right now or haven't responded to me at all. So if they haven't responded to me at all, I'll move them from that other list into these. And then once they have signed up, I have a challengers list so that I can keep track of them. And you'll see week one, week two, um, week three, week four check-ins, and if I believe they're a coach prospect. Um, and then they just have some other information about them as well. And then I have my coaches, so I have their name and all this information up here um, for them. And some of this is different now because we've changed our training, so I'll, I'll update this. Um, and then free leads, I'll keep them um, over here. So we'll have free leads and people who I need to send Shakeology samples to. So all you want to do is if you want to create a tab or change things, you absolutely can. Um, you'll just click down here and you can actually duplicate the same type of sheet if you want. Um, you can change the name and then you can even delete the, these if you don't want so many of them or, you know, the best thing about this is that you and your coaches can decide what you like best and how you want to track and how much you want to have down here. I am very detailed and I like to have, if it was all on one list, I would lose my freaking mind. So for me, I have to have it compartmentalized um, and that really helps me. So that's that. And if you guys have any questions, please let me know. Some other cool things and features that you might want to check out once you get more advanced on this is that once you have people listed in here, you actually can um, download, you can um, go to add-ons on uh, Chrome, and there's a way that you can mail merge, which means you can send, if you just have all their emails, you can send all those people and uh, an email if you wanted to from this Google Sheet. So that's a little bit more advanced YouTube how to do it, uh, but that is an option for you as well. So anyway, you guys, I hope this helps and um, happy tracking. Bye guys.